Welcome to Rock the Boat with Richard Hagen, the web's only international boating, soup yachting and maritime industry news and opinions magazine show. This week, Polish catamaran specialist Sunreef Yachts revealed another massive new model in its lineup, the Sunreef 70. The 70 Sunreef Power, as they call it, slots into the middle of the Sunreef Power range above the 60 and below the 80 and 100. I'm calling it a new model because that's the terminology used in the press release, but the fact is that it's actually a redesign of the company's existing 70. As with all Sunreef Yachts, it's completely customizable to the buyer's requirements, but standard features include a large wind protected lounge in the bow and what the yard calls best in class interior space. The flybridge is said to have enough space for a spa pool, a bar, a dining area and large sun pads. The company hasn't released any interior renders yet but based on the layout drawings it has published the yacht will have six cabins each with large island berths as well as two crew cabins, one in the bow of each hull. The new model is available to order right now and while the base price hasn't been published, I did a bit of digging and found a 2020 sailing version of the pre facelift model that had a list price of $5.7 million. What a bargain, I think I'll take two. To find out more, visit sunreef-yachts.com. British yacht builder Discovery Yachts last week shocked the industry when it announced that its sole shareholder and investor would be quote withdrawing support for the business immediately and will not be providing further investment or funds unquote. The company said that it will likely be forced to appoint administrators quote in the hope that some better resolution can be found unquote. According to news outlets the company almost collapsed in December 2019 but continued on only thanks to some major changes that were made at the yard. Despite disruptions due to the pandemic, the company had apparently enjoyed near record sales numbers including selling five yachts off plan. It's been pretty sad watching this drama unfold on my LinkedIn feed, particularly as the company's desperate staff are now stuck trying to find new jobs only a few days before Christmas. At least one industry recruitment agency announced that it decided to remain open throughout the festive season to assist Discovery employees with finding new employment. As the media like to say this is still a developing story and we don't yet have any further information. One thing that I found extremely bizarre however was that Discovery deleted their LinkedIn announcement post shortly afterwards so it's anyone's guess as to what is really going on behind the scenes there right now. In the meantime let's all spare a thought for the staff who suddenly find themselves jobless right at the start of the holiday season. A few days ago, Yamaha announced that it is acquiring Siren Marine. If you've never heard of Siren Marine, you're not alone. I had to look them up too. Basically, they're a tech company that provides remote connectivity solutions to boats and yachts. It allows owners and or captains to monitor various aspects of the vessel's status at any given time from your smart device. It ranges from things like battery levels, bulge pump activity, temperature sensors, and the yacht's location. Yamaha says that all future Yamaha products will be connected because quote that is what customers want unquote and that the acquisition of siren will assist it with that integration the company says that siren will help to develop its case business strategy case is an acronym the company uses for connected autonomous shared service and electrification and it describes the company's future strategy of developing connected boat technologies to learn more about this announcement visit yamahaoutboards.com not to be outdone, Raymarine has also just introduced its new Yacht Sense ecosystem. Honestly, it's basically the same kind of system as the one from Siren that I've just described. It's designed to provide boat owners and captains with constant smart connectivity to their boat via an app and a suite of hardware on the boat. The system allows for full remote monitoring of a vessel, including sending alerts when a vessel moves outside of a specified safety zone. It streams real-time instrument and navigation data, including information about the boat's electronics, its pumps, its lighting, batteries and other systems. Raymarine says that Yacht Sense will launch in early 2022 and it's aimed at vessels of 35 foot and up. A little late for Christmas this year but just in time to save for next Christmas. Well that's it for this week's show, don't forget that I'm a copywriter specializing in writing for the marine and super yacht industries. Connect with me on LinkedIn, visit my website at richardhagen.com or just use the links in the description. I'd love to hear from you the next time you need anything written up. Happy Christmas and thanks a lot for watching.